Welcome back, class. I'm Matt, your guide here on Y-Caliber. We're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I've respect into a better build, I think, for a Night Enchanter. I'll walk you through my logic for it. You can tell me in the... Oh, that's the Kindly Knight from uh, the last court. Sorry, I got distracted. I'll walk you through my logic. You can tell me in the comments whether I've done a great job or a terrible job. So in the Spirit Tree, I got Barrier so that I can put a barrier on myself and Guardian Spirit so that a barrier will pop up automatically uh, anytime I'm in danger. So that's why I got those ones. I think I think it's a decent idea. From Ice, uh, I got Fade Step and Frost Step so that I can hurt enemies and also get closer to them more quickly. That seems like it would be good because I don't have uh, as a Night Enchanter like that awesome chain ability warriors have. So this way I can go to the enemies quickly. Winter's Grasp, uh, combat area control, but mainly so that I could get Mana Surge if my barrier explodes it hurts enemies. Or rather freezes them. Winter Stillness, because I had to. Ice Mine, um, again, area control, reduce the enemy's armor, and it also opens the way for ice armor for me, it boosts my willpower and increases my... Uh, resistance to damage anytime I'm near an ice mine or the splash from a winter's grasp or anything like that. Under Night Enchanter, so far I've only gotten the two levels of Spirit Blade and Defending Blade, so more defense. And this just looks so cool. And I picked up Combat Clarity to boost my constitution and so that I'll have more mana for casting barrier and stuff like that. So let me know what you think. You can tell me in the comments below. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Okay. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on the partial improvements to Skyhold. Okay. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Dorian, <laughs> let's chat. I'm told you have Alexius researching magic for you. I do! Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. Maybe One someday. word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, give it a pass. You think? Okay. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? <laughs> a humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? No. Not quite. It's from your father. From my father. I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. <laughs> what my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I know, I'm willing buddy. to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tavinta. Well, you know. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Well, you're not going Let's to. Let's go. Let's meet this so called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. Uh, if it's not. I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. Okay. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. Oh, blood magic. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Okay. Let's go meet this retainer, then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Indeed we will. So, let's go do that. <laughs> hup, hup, hup. Oh, hey, Solus. Don't Sleep mind if well. I drop in. I've never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. No. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, 
I would enjoy talking. Okay. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost Tevinter city buried deep beneath the dead and barren wasteland. Huh. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. That's horrible. There were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Getting some Pompeii going on there. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. Oh. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. Of course it didn't. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. The primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choir has mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. Delightful. We'll talk later. Goodbye. See you. I'm gonna climb this ladder for no reason, except that it's there. I think it's probably there for... oh, never mind. The rotunda and the fresco. Golden fresco. Nice. Well, thank you, Archivist Bannon. I appreciate all of your efforts. Varric? Corivius is back. Oh, shit. <laughs> You said he was a darkspawn, or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. Right. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Honestly, I'd rather fight an ancient darkspawn with a pet archdemon than deal with that hole in the sky. At least you can kill Darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. <sighs> it makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. We'll find a way. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? Mm. Brutally murdered is not really the same as unleashed upon the world, Varric. In this case, it might be. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. You know, we can be friends too, Varric. We can be friends. Inquisitor. Yeah, I am the Inquisitor. Hi, Josephine. I'm glad that we're friends, and I respect you. Summon the War Council. Get them all in here. Show these folks what's what. Any reports ready? No. I have something for you, out. Commander. The soldiers the Herald rescued from the Falomire arrived an hour ago. Thank the Maker. We need good news. Yes, we do. And we got some. Alright, scout the hinterlands. Off we go. Yes, I'd like to venture forth. Bring the A.5 A team. I'd like to bring Cole more, but he seems to just die a lot. Crazy damage, but he dies a lot. 
Oh, while he's here, while we've got Varric in the team, I think we can get that agent. Witty Ritty, or Witty Ritz. Ritz the Wits. I wonder if she's on the map, because I do not remember where she was, except... Hinterlands. Alright, let's see. Maybe up here? I guess we'll find out. Also, whoo! I'm excited to try out the uh, Night Inquisitor spec. So I hope we run into something. Also, I what don't like made how the this mages come happening. here of all places? I don't like how this keeps happening. It's a waste of elf root. I mean, elf root, it doesn't come cheap, you know. There's not just elf root hanging out all over the place, he says, as he highlights some elf root with his radar. But it's really, it's only the one. Two. Alright, so Hinterlands. Are these the bad dude? There's some bad dudes up here. Alright, let's try it out. Aha! Oh, damn! You see this? Look at that! Oh my god! That's amazing! I just wish I could set it to auto attack or something. Also, that hurt. Gotta be more careful. So. I'm going the wrong way for this exclamation point. I think I have to go up on top of that mountain. Nope. Opposite. Over here. Oh yeah, I think I remember it was by that weird, uh... The cult. Where apparently I failed to pick up another agent. That I could have done. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> What's this? A letter found on a dead Templar. Oh. I know what a phylactery is. Alright, so I think Ritz was over here. And hopefully she still is. <laughs> I wonder if that's faster than, uh... Oh, there she is. So... So, the truth. I may have been, um... passing time with Eldreda. We were trying to find a moment's peace in the midst of this war. We were... yes. At first, she was just a mage who saw me and didn't attack, but, but later we... So, are you going to report me? Look, kid, if you can talk an apostate out of her pants in the middle of a war, you've got a gift. Use it. Make contacts, get information, and help the Inquisition. Do that, and our lips are sealed. All right. I, I can do that. And thanks for going easy on me. No problem. You're in the Inquisition now, Ari. What's this? Wow, 
Well, I'm glad that that worked out. Whoops. But for serious, it's behind me. I wonder if we'll be able to get here. Oh, come on. I think there's a... When did that rift come back? Also, that's a fairly obvious hiding place for that thing here. Oop. More Fine. supplies. Whittle can make use of these. What's beeping at me? Embryum is beeping at me. Well, that's okay. Alright then, uh... Let's pop up to the crossroads and drop off that phylactery. Should be good. I... I suppose you're right. It's just up here, right? Yeah. Directly up this way. I don't know. I passed round what you found. No one will go hungry. Alright. Hello. I have heard stories about you, Herald of Andraste. I am Enchanter Elendra. I hope you find a way to end this foolish war. Me too. I believe this is your phylactery. I found it on the body of a dead Templar named Matron. Ah. I suspected he died when he did not join me or send word. Make a curse the fools who started this war. And the fools who now fight it. Thank you. Matron was important to me. Here, for your trouble. Hmm. If you're a mage, why aren't you with the rebel mages? I was an enchanter in the College of Equitarians. We wanted tolerance, not war. Matron and I were certain we could find a way to avoid fighting old friends. And each other. Hmm. I know my own strength. I have no fear of demons. I will keep to myself and harm none. Good for you. I'd like to know more about you and Matron. Ah, Templars and mages. Natural enemies, they always say. That's how it's As though set we can up. keep healthy men and women close to each other for years without anyone getting ideas. <laughs> we were friends for many years and lovers for many more. And now he is gone because of this war. You haven't joined the rebels or the refugees. Are you on your own? Yes. It is safer that way. For everyone. At first, I used my healing skills to help the refugees. But when the Templars saw me, they attacked. Oh. Innocent people died in that battle. I will endanger no more. You could come hang out at my castle in the sky. The Inquisition could use the skills of a powerful mage. If I wished to kill others, I would have joined the rebels. How is the Inquisition any better? There are countless ways for you to help the Inquisition safely without having to fight. We need wards reinforced and glyphs studied. If you have skill with healing, you could save many lives. True enough. If the Inquisition believes I can help, then I will do what I can. Yay! My skills are yours. Just give me a moment to gather my things. All right. No, don't kneel. Don't do the... Thank you. For not kneeling. A new agent. All right. Do I want to do something nice for Vivienne? Not really, but It's on the way, so I guess it's not that bad. Would that I could. Would that I could make everybody happy. But I cannot. Oops. I'm using timing for a pause there.
Alright, Vivienne. Where is your thing? I'm not seeing it here. Do I need to go further up? No. Those trees got in the way. Trees got in my eyes. Come on, guys, get out of my way. I'm busy here. Hmm, what if... Well, that did not work at all. What was that? Something in here? Or on the other side? Is it up there? At the top? Well, let's go find out, I suppose. Never mind, that doesn't go anywhere. This guard captain from Kirkwall that you're friends with... She's stronger than you. <laughs> right. Just checking. <laughs> and she's taken. Alright, Vivienne, is your thing up here? here, otherwise I'm wasting time here. You know I don't like wasting time. That looks like it might be it, though. There we go. We got a circle tome. What else is here? Oh, just the ladder. Well, that's fine by me. When we return again, we're going to go and deal with the whole Red Cliff thing. So until the next time, all the best. <laughs>